What's up guys? Jeff, Ice Machine 411. Let me show you something. Uh, the complaint was low production. They're not getting enough ice. So here is what the top of the machine looks like while it's making ice. If you look down in there, you've got some cubes here on top, but down there, there are no cubes forming. Same right here. You got cubes on top right down there there are no cubes for me and then it's the same thing for bottom down on that side and this is a good example of what it should look like cubes all the way down so my assumption is right there where there are no cubes there's probably some evaporator separation and right there where there are no cubes probably some evaporator separation now that i've got it taken all apart you can see what i was talking about a little bit of separation there your cold refrigerant flows through these lines right here these plates are normally welded to these copper lines when the welds break they lose contact the cold or the heat transfer can't happen because the plates aren't touching the copper tubing. So I can't really get a good shot of what the bottom of it looks like, but if the top looks that bad, you're, you have a bad evaporator and you need to just have it replaced. Or if it's old, use it for as long as you can and see what happens. If you have low production, it's not making as much ice as it used to, check the evaporator. That could be the issue. Thanks for watching Ice Machine 411. Stay tuned for more content. See you soon.